Hey yo Captains, how's it going? Now a while ago I made a video on whether Boeing could redesign the 747 with two GE90 engines. It received a lot of positive feedback, so here's a sequel where we'll be discussing whether four GE90 engines could be used on the Antonov 225, which is the largest aircraft in the world. Now this video was made with the support from our partner blog Avgeek which I've mentioned previously before. Be sure to check out their post in the link below. Now there's only one 225 in service and it's operated by Antonov Airlines. It was designed to carry the Buran space plane and it's pretty much a bigger version of the Antonov 124 which is shown here. Now a lot of time has passed and it's done its job and it's now used for carrying oversized loads and holds the world record for the largest single item payload of 189 tons. It's also the heaviest aircraft ever built with a maximum takeoff weight of 640 tons. In terms of the engines, it has six D18T turbofan engines, each providing a thrust of 51,600 pounds, which produces a total of 309,600 pounds of thrust. Now the GE90 is a high bypass turbofan engine built for the 777 series. The GE9X when released in 2019 with the 777X models, which you can find more about in my other videos, will be able to provide an incredible 115,000 pounds of thrust. Now if we had 4 of these engines, that would be a total of 460,000 pounds of thrust, which is more than enough for the Antonov 225. The supports for the engines are already in place as engines 2, 3, 4 and 5 can be replaced with GE90s and engines 1 and 6 can be removed. At maximum takeoff weight our engines would burn a total of 33,000 pounds of fuel per hour. The Antonov 225 can hold up to 660,000 pounds of fuel but with a heavy payload it's more like 400,000 pounds. This means that hypothetically our plane could fly for around 12 hours. Now this is obviously a very rough estimate, but it gives us an idea of the capabilities of the engines. This is more efficient than the current 6 D18T engines. However, isn't 460,000 pounds of thrust overkill for an aircraft that currently has engines totaling 309,000 pounds of thrust? Well today, I present to you the Antonov T25 Trijet. With 345,000 pounds of thrust, the Antonov 225 will definitely lift off the ground. Well, at least I think it would. I'm no scientist, but all of the numbers add up. The six engines on the 225 total 309,000 pounds of thrust. So with our 345,000 pounds of thrust created by the three GE90 engines, significantly surpasses the thrust required to get a fully loaded 225 off the ground. Our third engine is placed in between the two vertical stabilizers hopefully keeping the aircraft balanced. Furthermore, less engines mean less weight and less drag, resulting in increased efficiency. But economically, let's be real here, the 225 would be a failure because it's too big to fly. And if you want to find out why, take a look at my video which explains why the A380 freighter was a failure, as all of the points apply to the hypothetical 225 trijet. It's just way too big to be successful. So guys let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below and find out more about this topic in the link below. Also check out my 747 GE90 video which is displayed on screen. Remember to like and subscribe guys and I'll check you in the next video.